Divine Truth Assistance Group. Group Assistance Sessions, Putting Principles of Divine Truth into Action. This recording is from the Understanding God's Loving Laws Group and is part of an Education in Love series. In the Introducing Order Principles presentation, Mary introduces the Order Principles session, lists each principles to be examined, and summarizes other presentations regarding attitudes to law and the human law hangover to be included in the two-day session. Recorded on the 8th of November, 2016, in New Seville, Queensland, Australia. So what I'd like to do now is just introduce you to our next session, really. And this is just the purpose of this mini talk, it's just a half an hour, is just to kind of open, draw a close to the, fun, the previous session and just open you up to the, the basic concepts involved in this next session. Jesus is going to go into all of it in much more depth, but it's really just a little um, taste. <laughs> all right. So... We're going to be talking about order principles. And the key thing to understand about order principles is that they still apply to all law and really to all creation as well. But what we're going to be focusing on the next two days is your soul, the human soul, and how these principles relate to the human soul. So it gets a bit more personal and you start to understand how you as a human soul fit into what God has created. And you'll learn that there's certain, there's certain responsibilities and certain hierarchies involved in all of that. But it's really understanding your place in the universe, if you like, and what's involved in that. Okay. Yep, so this is our diagram that we just looked at again in our, in our review just in the earlier presentation. So again, we've got God's character, uh, the principles that reflect God's character, the laws, and this is, you're going to start to learn today about the hierarchy that these laws uh, exist in, and then God's creations, of which the human soul we're going to be focusing on a lot, is a part of God's creation. Okay. So as I mentioned, we'll be talking about how the human soul fits into the universe, how it affects the universe and how it affects the lower creations in the universe and what is the role of our human soul, which is, which is interesting to me. Why, why, why are we here and what, what is our potentials? Potentials is a lot in our third session as well, but we start to open up to that again in these in this two days. Okay. All right. Now... I want to go through with you guys some definitions because these are going to be quite important to the following two days. This is, these definitions are important to grasp if you're going to fully kind of understand what Jesus is teaching with you. There's no need to write them down. They're in your outlines. And again, Jesus will go through these again with you. But this is just to start opening your mind up to it, okay? So as we learned in our first assistance group, each of us as a human soul has been gifted with free will. There are many gifts and responsibilities that pertain to this gift of free will. So these order principles that Jesus will be discussing with you, you'll see how things are applied specifically to us as, as human souls because we have this gift of free will. And you can't give it back. We established that in the first assistance. <laughs> it's a no returns gift. <laughs> okay. So as I said, many apply because you have the gift of free will. And the principles that are presented, that Jesus is going to present to you, have a direct impact upon our soul. So they affect us in our soul. All right. Everyone okay with that one? It's kind of ground we've covered before, isn't it? Self-responsibility. Now, this is kind of key to this entire week. We really want to help you understand a lot more about what is self-responsibility. So let's just briefly talk about it now. Self-responsibility is the law-based requirement of self-awareness, 
to seek love and truth and understanding of all of the principles of love and law. And the loving ownership and expression of one's will, desire, passion, emotion, attitudes, intentions, thoughts, and actions in harmony with God's principles and laws. Pretty awesome, hey? <laughs> to think about, wow, that's what it means to be self-responsible. Yeah. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions? It's not really, as I said, Jesus is going to go through it more with you later. And hopefully you've had the chance to read that. But there, while we've, there's a lot to it, if you think about it, it's actually quite simple also. If you, if you start to Im, embrace and live by principles, a lot of these things happen automatically. Yeah. Okay. All right. So they're your key definitions that, that have keeping in mind. To, you can ask Jesus more about the implications of what we just shared there as, as you get into your specific presentations, and I'll talk about what the presentations are going to be now. So remember our foundation principles that we covered in the first two days were love, truth, life, development, economy, function, permanence, and scope. Now, in this section, we're going to be talking about order principles, and they include hierarchy, governance, responsibility, and compensation. So just four principles for this next two days. And then in our final two days, in our last session, we'll be talking about will, desire, redemption, and transformation. As you can see, we've kind of ordered these sort of logically so they build upon one another and as you go through the sessions you'll get to feel that more and more as well. All right, let's talk about your specific presentations over the next two days. Hierarchy. So you're going to learn that there's actually two key hierarchies. There's a hierarchy of law and there's a hierarchy of creations. So God has creations and God has made law, and both exist in a hierarchy, but those two hierarchies are also very related. So that's probably the key thing that I'd like you to just start opening up your mind to, because Jesus is going to get into it in much more detail. But if you can think, okay, law, creation, both have their own hierarchy, but it's very interconnected. Okay? And Jesus will talk to you how, about how they're inseparable, conjoined, interrelated, and build upon these very important scope principles that we were just reviewing. And this is why the scope session is quite crucial, but I feel you'll come, to, you'll come to see how crucial it is as you go through hierarchy and governance as well. Okay. And they, sorry, they apply to all creation, which I've mentioned. All right, your next presentation will be governance. And this is, this is where we start to learn about the importance of the human soul as the highest of God's creations. Because there's a certain level of governance that is automatic in being a human soul and existing as a human soul. So whether you, whether you want it or not, <laughs> And whether it's a potential or just realised, there's certain levels of governance that are only potentials for us depending on our level of self-responsibility. Okay, so if we just read what we've got there. Since humans have been given power over all other creation, whether that's a potential or realised power, and, the poten and also the potential to create ourselves, Humans are also bound to additional laws regarding the governance of other creations. So that means because we have this capacity to govern other creation, there are laws that impact upon us specifically with relationship to how we govern. Does that make sense? Yeah? All right. 
responsibility. And you'll see that a lot of these are quite linked uh, or build upon the others. As we mentioned with governance, since when it comes to responsibility, since humans have been given power over all other creation, whether it's a potential or just realised, and they have the ability to use their will and make choices and decisions affecting other creations, humans have also been made responsible for the way that governance is exercised. So that means there's implications. We are made to be responsible. Responsibility is enforced upon us through law because we have this capacity to govern. Make sense? Yep. All right. And finally, compensation. Now, who thinks they already know everything about compensation? <laughs> You've heard Jesus talk about it for years. You, you got this one down, huh? <laughs> no, there's a bit more involved. And, and what is lovely about the way Jesus pr will be presenting this to you is that it's almost like coming at it from a different angle. We're not just talking about the law of compensation. We're talking about the principle of compensation and how it actually affects all of creation. And then he'll focus again on your human soul. Okay, so a bit of a summary of compensation. Since humans must choose to take actions in or out of harmony with love, they're the only two choices, in or out of harmony with love, and such actions potentially affect other humans and other creations. Humans are compensated for loving actions and penalised and corrected for unloving actions. Sounds all right? Who, who sort of had a little smile or a little ah oh, moment when they read humans are compensated for loving actions? Yeah. Oh, I forgot that. <laughs> yeah, there's a converse to all of these things. Yeah, awesome. All right. Now we're going to have two other presentations in session two. And they are going to be sort of a follow-on from this talk you had yesterday with Jesus of the human law comparison. So we're going to talk about law-related attitudes and emotions. And who's already read the handout for that one? Yeah, find it interesting? <laughs> find it a bit bamboozling? Someone just shook their head. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's going to become much clearer once you have a chat to Jesus about it. But the, the cool thing about that talk, I think, is that you get to examine, okay, there's this issue of law and how laws are made. And then there's this issue of different lawmakers and different law enforcers because you've got God and humans and the way things happen, the way God creates and the way humans create and enforce. And we get to compare wow, really, how out of harmony or in harmony with the way God does things are we as humans and are, are our systems on earth? So, yeah, you've got, the, you've got the summary up there, but basically that's what you're going to be looking at. You're going to be looking at the relationship between the primary entities involved with law and on earth we, we have lawmakers and law enforcers and collective humans and then ourselves but then we're also broadening that to think about God in that whole process and how God does things and contrasting the two. All right. And who's excited for... <laughs> no, what's the, what's the final talk in this session? Does anyone know before I bring the slide up? You can yell it out. <laughs> Human law hangover, yeah. And who is already starting to feel a little hungover? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember, as I said at the end of the, uh, last, the last presentation, this is all just info, guys, you know. You don't have to get too down on yourself. But it is natural to start to feel like, whoa, okay, yeah, this is stirring up some emotions to recognise how out of harmony with law I am. Yeah. All right. So the human law hangover session will examine how human attitudes and emotions towards human law prejudice, human attitudes and emotion towards God and God's laws. So pretty simple concept, a lot of complex emotions. 
involved in that. But this is, this is really crucial. Not only do we need to learn about these principles if we want to live in harmony with law, but we also need to uncover, well, what's our baggage about law? Because I'm never actually going to embrace God's law unless I get rid of my baggage with human law. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And we're going to talk about the pain and suffering in, in that human law hangover. Discussion. All right. I'm, I'm shooting through, but Jesus has got plenty of time up his sleeve. That means to have really good Q&As with you. I think, um, as I said, this is really just about opening you guys up to what we're going to be discussing for the next couple of days and making sure you're feeling kind of fairly comfy with, with what we're about to talk about. All right. So again, we just remind you of your overview um, schematic or diagram to help you conceptualise everything that we'll be talking about. In the next two days, we're going to be talking about laws that still affect all of creation, but we're going to focus you in on how it affects your human soul and how your human soul fits into and has effect on other parts of creation in those different ways that I've just mentioned to you, so hierarchy, governance, responsibility and compensation. All right. Finally, order principles form the foundation for the principles that govern the potentials of the human soul. And we're going to really hone in on the potentials of the human soul in our final session, which is the last two days. But these two days, we're, we're actually building upon, we're, we're opening you up to even more info that you're going to need to utilise in order to engage this transformation process that we talk about in the final two days. And as I mentioned, this next two days will focus on how the human soul and other, other creations fit into the universe and how they relate to each other. Okay. Jesus is not going to have time to go through with you all of the definition, the objectives, the application and what the principles reveal about God in his <coughs> sessions. As you've seen, it's just enough to get through the summary and then have a good Q&A with you. And I think that the Q&As are bringing forth a lot of that other information anyway. Um, who enjoyed reading uh, what each principle reveals about God in your outlines? For me, that was, that was a really... Um, really enjoyable part of preparing that material is always just thinking back to, yeah, what's this telling me about God and God's feelings about me or God's feelings about creation? Yeah, that's great that you also enjoyed that. Yeah. And as we've mentioned earlier, this whole week, every discussion we have, it's just a very basic presentation of the, of the subject at hand. We don't have time for really in-depth. As you can imagine, we're going to spend a lot more time going in-depth uh, in our studio recordings. But I think that you, you're starting to get a flavour for what, what we're really on about, and that was our big desire in, in creating this material. OK. And as we've mentioned, there's a lot more principles that we don't actually have time to discuss. But these are some of the ones that we thought would be really beneficial to talk to you guys about. Okay. Uh, Rita, yep. When you talk about the human soul, do you talk about the complete soul or the soul we are now? You are a complete soul right now. So you talk... In the so I'll, I'll answer year. you, no, that's a unified soul. So you're going to hear from Jesus what we're going to talk about, but every soul is, the definition of a human soul is two halves of a soul. So what we, we just call them, we call them your human soul in, the, in a lot of our discussions just to help you kind of conceptualise what we're talking about. But the truth is a human soul has two halves and so when we discuss the human soul, we're talking about that. But we're, as you know, Jesus is always drawing the distinction between whether it's a unified soul or uh, a soul in its first incarnation and things like that. So, yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, we're going to probably just, we'll give you a little break again, just so Jesus can come up and Lena can change over the, um, the formatting. Is there anything else you'd like to add, darling, before I sit down?
No, it might pay if we have the 10 minute break that we planned. Yes, uh, yep. Yeah. I was going to say that. That Just way, because the next session is an hour and. Maybe 20 minutes or so. Well, I've so just given you an extra 10 for questions. Sure. <laughs> so you need to relieve those bladders <laughs> so you can yes, pass the distance. Yes. So I was going to say, <laughs> let's have our break. Just it'll give them a chance to reset. And also it will let you relieve yourself before the long, the long wait <laughs> through, through hierarchy principles. And so we'll see you in 10, hey? That will be at midday exactly.